Hello everyone. My name is Safal. Welcome to another interesting session here at Code Heroku. At Code Heroku, our mission is to make world-class computer science and engineering education accessible to millions of students, especially in developing countries like India. In our today's video, we will be going over OpenCV installation for C++ with MinGW compiler for creating OpenCV programs in C++. So in this video, we will be learning how to install MinGW 64-bit compiler for running C++ programs. Then we will be learning how to install OpenCV to create OpenCV programs in C++. Then we will be learning how to install CMake. We require CMake to basically link the OpenCV libraries with MinGW compiler so as to run the OpenCV programs in C++. Then finally, we will be creating a basic OpenCV C++ program and running it with the help of CMake and MinGW compile. Our main objective to select this path is to not depend on any ID like Visual Studio and be able to write our code in any text editor like Sublime or Notepad++ and be able to simply run it with command prompt. Also, this approach for Windows is more similar to what you would do on a Linux or Mac. So, let's start with the video. For installing the MinGW 64-bit compiler, you can find the link in the description. Once you will open that link, the setup for MinGW 64-bit compiler will automatically start downloading. Here's a small note. Even if you have the MinGW 32-bit compiler, you would still need to download and install this compiler because this supports the POSIX thread uh, which is necessary for running OpenCV programs in C++. In the 32-bit compiler, if you try to run OpenCV programs, you might encounter the mutex error. So go ahead and download this setup. Now once you have downloaded the setup for the compiler, you just need to install the compiler now. Now when installing the MinGW compiler, make sure that your thread is selected as POSIX and your architecture should be x86-64 and then click on next. Now here you can give the directory wherever you want to install this folder. So I'll be installing in this directory only. So I have selected this directory. Now go ahead and click on next and let us meet after this installation is over. Now once the compiler is successfully installed, you just need to open this folder. You'll find this MinGW64 folder. Once it is installed, just open this folder. Again, open this folder. In this one go to pin and copy this path now you need to add this path to your environment variables to basically run the mingw compiler so just go ahead and on the search bar type environment variables Now, once this is open, go to environment variables. In this, you will find the system variables. Here. Go to path, click on new, 
and paste the path of the binary folder of minjw compiler that you have copied so paste it here and just do okay now to check whether minjw compiler is successfully installed or not you just open the command prompt type in command prompt and here you need to type g++ version so once you type in this command you'll get this version of the mingw c++ compiler and if this shows then you have successfully installed the compiler in your pc now once you have installed the mingw compiler now we will install OpenCV. so open google and just go to opencv.org open this once you reach this page you need to go to library releases here you can find different versions of opencv you can go ahead and download whichever you want I will be downloading this 3.4.13 version so click once you open this page it will automatically start downloading so let us meet after this is completely downloaded once downloaded you will get this open cv self extractable file so just go ahead and double click on it here you can provide the directory wherever you want to extract this file so just select the directory and click on extract this will start extracting the open cv once extracted you will get this open cv file and now you would need to download the pre-built pre library files for mingw compiler from the link in the description because by default open cv only provides pre-built libraries for visual studio compiler in windows so go ahead and download that file now once you have downloaded the file from the link in the description uh, just go ahead and extract it so you can get the directory wherever you want to extract and just go ahead and extract now once extracted you will get this file just open this open cv mingw build file and go to x64 and just copy this mingw folder go back go to the folder wherever you have installed the open cv and open the opencv folder here go to build go to x64 and here you need to copy the mingw file that we have copied from the zip file so just copy it here once you have successfully copied this file just open this mingw folder go to pin 
copy this path you would again need to paste this path in your environment variables so just go ahead and in the start search environment variables once this is open go to environment variables go to path and again create new and paste this bin path here and now you would also need to go to this lip path and you would also need to paste it in the environment variable so again open the environment variables go to path create new and again paste it so once you have successfully pasted the bin and the lib path you have successfully installed the open cv for running it with mingw compiler now let us install cmake so for installing cmake just go to google and type cmake here you can go to the first link that comes up then go to download and here you will need to download this windows x64 installer so just go ahead and click on this link and it will start downloading cmake now once you have downloaded this cmake uh, setup you can just go ahead and double click on it then you can just click on next and then go ahead and do the installation for cmake and let us meet after this is installed now once you would have installed the cmake you'll get this cmake folder just open it here go to bin and just copy this path and again you would have to add this to your environment variables so go ahead search for environment variables once this is open go to environment variables go to path and again copy create new and copy the bin path just okay so now you have successfully installed cmake and again if you want to check that if the installation was correct or not you can just go to your command prompt and just type cmake version And this will show you the version of cmake this means that you have successfully installed cmake we have installed all the dependencies we can create the program for running opencv in c i will be creating a very basic program to show an image using opencv so let us create a new folder here and i'm going to name it opencv underscore cpp now in this folder uh, i'm going to create two files one would be our cpp file which would contain our program and the other would be be cmake lists.txt file so let's create our program now i will be using atom text editor to create the program you can use whichever editor you want to 
so I'll be creating a new file let's save this file in the new folder that we have created yeah okay so let us name it as OpenCV hello world dot cpp so first we will import the necessary libraries Now once we have imported the necessary libraries, now we would need the path where the image is stored. So I have copied the path of the image here. Once I have the path of the image, I can use the imread function of OpenCV to read the image. Now we are going to store the image in mat data type which is present in OpenCV. And we are going to use imread function in which we provide the path of the image. Now, to check that if the image is read correctly or not, we can just say that if the image is not correctly read, we can say could not read the image. And return from here otherwise if the image is correctly read we can use the i am show function to display the image So now we have created the complete program. Let us build the CMake list.txt file. Now make sure that you name your CMake list file as this only and keep in mind the casing of the letters now initially in this file we need to provide 
uh, what should be the minimum version of CMake. So, Since I was using the 3.20 version of CMake, I have written 3.0. If you are using a lower version than 3.0, then you should change it accordingly. Then we are going to name our project Open CV CPP. Now, since we are using OpenCV, so we would need to include the OpenCV package in this file. We can say find package OpenCV. Required. then we would include the open cv directories then we would need to create a, an executable file that will be used to run our program. So we can write add executable. Let us name our executable file as display image. And we have named our CPP file as open CV hello world dot CPP. Now, what we need to do is we need to link the open CV library with the compiler. So we will write target link libraries and here we are going to provide the name of the executable file then link it with opencv libraries that's it that would be enough for running our program I'm going to save this. Now, once you have created both these files, just open command prompt in this folder. And here you can say cmake dot Now cmake.command is needed to build the files and mine hyphen g mingw make files command is needed to specify that we will be using the mingw compiler for running our program. Once you press enter, this should be your output if you have followed all the steps properly and these files should be built in your folder where you created the cmake lists and the cpp file and make sure that this make file is present because this would be necessary for the further steps and then we can go to your command prompt and we can write mgw32 make 
executable this will compile our program and link the OpenCV libraries with the compiler and finally build the executable file for us so let us check that everything is correct or not so here we are able to see the image and our program has run successfully so this was all about how to install cmake opencv and mingw compiler for running a opencv program in c++ all right guys that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new today if you liked it please share it with your friends and also subscribe to our channel